Hey, welcome back to Team Exostans. Uh, on today's video, I'm just going to give you a bit of a run through of KTuner, how to install headers, uh, and how to set it up. Um, here, I'm just showing the jumpers that I've installed onto the ECU board. They are really small, they are fiddly. I don't possibly don't recommend that you tackle this unless you're uh, pretty confident in soldering. Saying that, I don't have much experience. So um, the key to doing this, and what I found with this one, is to use heaps of flux. So I've got a uh, flux pen, and I just coat the area with flux, um, and then use the uh, sm smallest point of a um, soldering iron that I can. Um, so this is what I've got in terms of flux. Um, and I'll just put some on, I'll try and get it in position uh, with one of them and then I'll go over again and uh, cover it with flux and then try and do all of the little uh, legs of it. So this is the smaller of the two, this is the 10 pin one. This one was a 20 pin I think, uh, 10 on each side. Uh, it's a bit messy but I think it should work. So I've now secured that one on. Oh, it's really hard to see and the GoPro's wide angle but it's not pretty but should work um, using lots, lots of flux makes it a bit uh, uglier to look at um, but we'll get this back in and uh, see how it goes so we've just uh, received the K tuner um, I've installed the headers on the ECU and put the board in uh, run the USB out a little hole that I've made with a file in the side. Uh, we went K-Tuner mainly because it's a budget build and this one's kind of cheaper. Uh, cheaper not just for the uh, board but cheaper for the ECUs that they go into as well. Um, the difference is O2 to O4 um, kind of use the uh, Hondata K-Pro uh, boards um, whereas the O5, O6 ECUs um, use uh, K tuner. So I've gone 0506. The wiring is completely different for the for the engine as well. So you just need to be a bit careful with that. Uh, you can rewire um, looms and so forth, um, but I guess the whole kind of architecture of the board is different, and that's why um, there's two kind of distinct camps: one for K tuner for these type of issues, and the other is the K Pro uh, Honda K Pro. Um, for the for the other style. Alrighty, I'm now going to run you through how you set up a base map to go on the K24. Um, this is what it looks like when it loads up. I think it will ask you for some registration on the first load up of um, the KTuner software. I can't go through that because I've already done it once. Um, but basically once you're in here you want to go uh, file new tune and then from here you want to select the ECU that you've that you've put in. So um, I put a base model um, RSX ECU in. So I'll select this one. Um, and basically what this will do is it'll load up the base model RSX uh, maps in here. Uh, obviously they are not going to be no good for a K24. Uh, been a 2 litre versus 2.4 litre and various other things. Uh, so what we need to do is actually open a second version of KTuner uh, and then once that's open we will, we will open up the TSX uh, version of the map and then I'll just quickly show you how you go about like copying um, the map from one uh, to another. I, I did it manually. I'm not sure if there's a if there's a way uh, that you can do it um, easier than this, but uh, I know that this kind of this kind of works. So uh, we've got our second window of KTuner, and it's easier if you've got two screens or a bigger screen, but it's hard for me to show you like that. Um, here, what you do is you open up uh, TSX. Um, and then I selected this one, I have 50 degree VTC. 
Um, so I opened up this one. And then what you can do is here you've got all of the different um, kind of configuration. There's a bunch more in here and you need to go through. I went through each one and did it. Um, but say for the ignition map, so there's a, light, a low and a high for each uh, map. So for the ignition map on zero, for low, I selected it all and copied it and then went to my other map um, and pasted it in. Now one thing that you need to be careful of is that um, that these increments are correct and they weren't for me. So you can see here uh, this only goes to uh, seven and a half thousand and this one goes to six and a half thousand. So you need to update all of those increments as well. Um, you need to do that for the low and the high and then you need to go through each of the different varying degrees um, and update them all. You'll then go into the fuel and do the same thing for the fuel um, and then they start to get a bit simpler but I put everything in here. Um, I also went through all of these items and copied from the TSX one so I was sure that I had a TSX map. Alrighty, I'm now down in the car. I've got my base map which I've set up that's ready to upload. Uh, so basically what you do is you plug in your USB cable um, and you put your ignition to just before the start, so on. You'll see it will uh, log in like this and these two, uh, these two buttons down here will go green. That means you're connected. Once you're connected, you simply push this button here, which is upload the bass tune. Um, it will give you a warning saying that it's recommended, you know, that you've got power and you really don't want it to run out of power midway through because, um, yeah, I don't know what you could possibly could brick your uh, ECU. So you click yes to that. Uh, and then you will see down here, it's saying erasing ECU. So it's getting rid of everything on the ECU and then it's, it's going to fully upload um, this complete map to the ECU um, that we've created. Uh, so you can see here, and this takes a while, so I might just time lapse this and we'll jump back once we've done. The roof flash finishes, it asks you to turn the vehicle off, to hit the OK. You wait five seconds. count to five slowly and then put the key back on and hit OK and you will see here we've got two greens again. Now I'll just show you if we start the car um, obviously we get all the real time kind of uh, like I can do it even without the car off you get the TPS um, you know your air intake temperatures, coolant temperatures um, wide band, uh, sorry, the wide band O2 will show you your air fuel ratios. Um, you know, it's all the common stuff that's in tuning software. Uh, I guess the only other thing I should show you is, like, it, when, once you've got the car running, there's this uh, record button here, um, and that's very useful. It'll basically record a log of everything that you're doing in the car. So the first few runs in the car, I made sure I had that recorded. You can then play it back. You can then export them. Uh, so oh, I might just show you how to do that. Uh, I think it's in here. You can save your data log, export to CSV. So I'm a bit of an Excel person, so I like to see it in CSV and then open it in Excel, have a look at, make sure that I don't have any really lean spots or anything like that. Um, you can open it and then you can play it. Uh, you can click on this percentage difference here. Uh, and if you're in the fuel map, it'll show you basically how far out. Like, uh, there's an example. This is saying it's minus 12% off or it's, cor it's having to correct 12% um, to basically get the target air fuel ratio. Um, so that is really useful for uh, for tuning, um, especially if you're by yourself. You just do record some, come back and have a look at it and uh, focus on the, the spots that are really way out. 
but yeah, um, I guess this tutorial is a bit dangerous. It's like handing you a loaded gun. So just be a bit careful with this. There's probably some people cringing and saying, you know, you should leave this to the tuner. I'm basically trying to show you how to do this stuff so that you can load on your base map. You could probably drive your car to the tuner. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's not going to be a substitute for real dyno time, but uh, yeah, this is just a basic how to load up a map. If you liked the video, please give us a like. Uh, give us a subscribe. Uh, actually, before I drop off, I might show you one more cool, um, or useful, more than cool, um, uh, item I have in, in the car that allows me to um, see some of this data real time without having the laptop with me all the time. So this is the adapter that I have. Uh, these are really cheap, by 10 bucks on eBay. I'll try and put a link in the description for anyone that's interested. Uh, and they just plug into the conversion harness loom. I'll show you that. So that just plugs into the OBD2 connector, which is in the conversion harness. Uh, and it's as simple as that. So we have this Torque Pro app. Uh, and it will just load up like that. Hang on, I'll just key the ignition. Yeah, so once you're connected, you get um, screens like this that you can set up and customize. Um, so I've customized, for example, that one where I have my uh, air fuel ratio, coolant, intake temperature, short term fuel, um, and GPS speed. I was setting my um, GPS calibration, oh, sorry, my speed calibration in the K tuner with that. Um, but basically, I'll show you, I'll start the car, but like, this is more real time than this one, I think. Um, but if you start the car, uh, you can see the air fuel ratio changes. I've got RPM. So yeah, that's a quick tip on how to get some info and not have to have your laptop plugged in the whole time.